Hello friends, I hope you are enjoying my video as well as you are enjoying the British summer. Today we will discuss another important topic for MRCPCH clinical examination, Charcot Marie Tooth disease. Let's start. Charcot Marie Tooth disease is a group of motor and sensory neuropathies. It causes progressive peripheral nerve degeneration. It was first described by Charcot, Mary and Tooth in 1886. Charcot, Mary Tooth disease is one of the common inherited neurological disorder. It involves both the sexes equally as well as all the ethnicity equally. And the incidence is around 1 in 2500. Onset is around childhood or adolescence. There are five varieties of Charcot Mitos disease. CMT1 is associated with demyelination and it is autosomal dominant. CMT2 associated with axonal degeneration and it is again autosomal dominant. The third variety is X linked. CMTX and the fourth one is CMT4 which is autosomal recessive. The fifth one is CMTDIE it is intermediate form. Now we need to understand what is the pathophysiology. It damages the peripheral nerves. It causes axonal degeneration or demyelination and it affects the long nerves particularly in the distal limb involvement is very much common. You can expect Charcot Marie Tooth disease case in MSCPCH clinical examination in short clinical station. You have to be very well prepared. Just go through my CMS examination scheme video. Link will be in description. Charcot Marie Tooth disease may present with weakness of distal muscles like food drop. The food deformities like face covers and amarco may be manifested and the progression is very slow if you do the clinical examination you may find the sensory loss as well as atrophy of the calf muscle and areflexia could also be associated associated complication of charcot marie tooth disease are Scoliosis, kyphoscoliosis, hip dysplasia, gait abnormality, tremor, fatigue, and psychological impact. To the diagnosis, first we have to do the clinical examination, nerve conduction study, electromyography, nerve biopsy can also be done. Sometimes we can also perform genetic test. Differentials, chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. Diabetic neuropathy, pediatric ataxia, spinomuscular atrophy, as well as vitamin B12 deficiency. How to manage a case of Charcot Marie Tooth disease? There is no cure. The main management is supportive. We can do pain management as well as physiotherapy, orthotics, occupational therapy. Genetic counseling can also be done and sometimes surgery indicated. Advances. Research is going on in gene therapy as well as RNA silencing and protein therapies. Preclinical trials are also going on with ASOs. These specific registries and biomarker development are on process. Discuss the prognosis of Charcot Marie Tooth disease. There is normal life expectancy, but disability varies in intensity. Early diagnosis and treatment favors good outcome. The cool message of this presentation is Charcot Marie Tooth disease is very common, inherited, and progressive. It presents with distal muscle weakness, food deformity is typical. Diagnosis is mainly made by the clinical features as well as the neurophysiology and genetics. Supportive therapy is the main mode of management and researches are ongoing. I hope you are enjoying my video. Please like, share and subscribe and let me know which uncommon topic you want to discuss. Goodbye.